I would like to describe some of the changes that have been made to the cam to improve safety and to avoid uh, basically the latch coming apart. So the cam profile has been changed to this downward slope. The actual uh, areas that, that trip over have been lengthened so there is a longer slot in here, less chance of it pulling out. Also with this downward angle, the striker mechanism cannot, cannot pull straight out. It would have to go down and out, which the greenhouse itself would prevent that from happening. So some of the other features are uh, on this billet body, we've eliminated a lot of the parts and a lot of the alignment problems that was an issue with the with the older style. You can see it's all now one piece, so that makes the pin alignment through the billet very, very close tolerance. Uh, also with this little bit larger cam in here, it, it reduces the possibility of disengagement. Uh, a couple of the other features, which was on the old, old style also, are these uh, pointed set screws in here. They're designed to actually dig in a little bit into the greenhouse to prevent the body from twisting. Also, with the adjustment of these screws, you can change the angle of the latch to tighten or loosen the hatch itself. So if the hatch is, is, is got a little bit of play in it, what you would do then is you would adjust this, you would adjust the angle on this to tighten that up. If you go to close the hatch and this pin right here does not come all the way out, then you've adjusted it too tight. So the, 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 perfect, the perfect setup is when you, you need to, to kind of forcefully let, the, let the, the hatch itself kind of slam down. Not, I mean, not overly crazy, but let it slam down in there. That little bounce will allow this pin to, to jump all the way through. You don't want to just slow close it. That's not the, the, the way it's designed. It's designed from a couple inches up, just let it go down. Um, and other than that, it's really simple now. You don't have any, anything that can come loose. Uh, the barrels and that are pressed in and also epoxied. Uh, the mechanism is, is pretty simple. The pin gets pulled back and it slides in the slot, releasing, it actually sits this way, releasing the, what I call the striker plate. When you, when you close it, it does just the opposite. And, and then the pin then, I got some, the pin then just jumps through both sides and through the cam. All right, this is showing basically a unit installed. Um, you can see that now it's, it's engaged and you can see the, how the cam itself is in an upward angle and the slot is also at an upper upward slope. So that prevents in, the, in a basically some kind of a wreck, the, the escape hatch pulling back and disengaging from the, the previous cam. The cam slot is so much longer uh, that it really, really is gonna be very difficult for that pin to pull back out of there without the, the cam itself releasing. Uh, to install this, this new one, uh, on the striker plate, you have your side-to-side -side adjustment. What you want to do is be pretty close to center of the bar. You don't want to be rubbing on one side or the other. So you kind of center that. It should be about a sixteenth of an inch away from the lip so it does not hit when it opens. And then the in and out for the engagement is done with the latch body itself. The slot is is, is allows you to move in or, or back. What you want to do is you want to move it in far enough so that you're pretty close to the back edge of the, of the slot. You don't want to be super tight against it because that'll cause a little bit of binding. But you want to be close to the back of the slot with the adjustment here. Um, when you go to release the hatch, it's, it's, it's just a kind of a, a you don't want to do a slow pull. You want to just give it a little bit of a jerk, just like that to open. If you go slowly, you can cause some binding in the pin. So you just want to give it a little, a little jerk like that and pop it open. 
and then when it goes to close, it's just the opposite. And you can see that when this closed like this, the pins came out through. It's very important that the pins go all the way out, all the way through to, this, to the uh, far side. That means you have complete engagement. When you go to it, if the, if the hatch itself is not tight, if like if you have a little bit of play in the hatch, you adjust it here with these four set screws. You take it and if you, if you need to make it a little bit tighter, you would adjust the front screws and actually start to kick the latch body back and that, that'll actually force it to pull down harder. But you gotta be careful so that you still, when you kinda close it, the, the cross pin still comes through. If you go too far kicking it back, the cross pin won't go all the way across and it won't be a very safe situation.